Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meaty69. Welcome back to the channel. Now, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to look at websites, websites related to World of Tanks Blitz. Now, I'm going to do this because these are websites that you should be using for one way or another you should be using now in total i'm going to show you four websites there is more uh, but i'm going to show you four and these are the four websites i use and each website is used for different reasons so uh, of course all these websites pretty much have some of the same things in, uh, but all of them have something unique to, to them. So the first up, we have a Blitz Tank Stats. Now you can download this as an app, uh, but I think this is good. There's only one thing I kind of look in this. You've got challenges, events, leagues, countings, replays. I normally look at tanks. I normally look at tanks and on this, you can choose pretty much anything. So you could choose tank stats, popular tanks, medals, kiss, kill stealers, and you can also collect uh, to select which server etc so we're going to look at popular uh popular tanks so we're going to look at what are the most popular tanks and it shows you so you if you click here where it says battles players etc you can actually click battles uh and you can see the from the top so the death star is the most played tank but what tank is has the most players playing it so you click players and you can see that the grill is up there so the grill is up there with the most players playing uh, and you could do this for different things so we're going to look at uh, metal stats here and now this is something I, I, I honestly I do like uh, so again you could click what medals. so we're going to go to mastery badges so let's go down click on the golden M and we, you can click a tank so you can see here in not let's not click a tank for now so if we go to golden M's here you can see that it will show how many people who's at the top of the list with the gold amount of golden M's which is of course the mastery badge which goes to shard uh, coke a158 coke brobin 21 object 3 there so obviously the more battles you play if you're a good player the more chance you'll get uh, to get an ace now uh, yeah where am I in the list I'm quite high actually I think I'm around 40 if if I if I'm not uh, mistaken so we're just going to go down we should be around about here so yeah we're 44th that's not bad we're actually 44th out of everybody on the eu server i'm number 44 just behind messi there which who is an op player uh just a bit of, uh you can see steak tastic juicy tender steak there at 50 uh so yeah i like looking at this but you can also pick per tank as well so if you're playing a tank and you want to see how good people are doing in the tank so i'm going to click the crime wagon because because i tested the tank i was quite lucky and i got quite a few uh quite a few mastery badges uh, in the crime wagon so again we can click the crime wagon uh sometimes it, it can, can can take a little bit of time uh in loading depends how much data it's got to load i suppose uh and then what do you want to do there again you just want to click on golden m but we're still on page 10 uh, or whatever it is so we just want to go back all the way to the beginning so you can see here uh if we click golden m let's click it again so mag ros has currently the most mastery badges in the crown wagon followed by h1p followed by wakanda forever and then your boy midi 69 at fourth so across the whole eu server I have I'm the fourth highest mastery badges in the Crown Wagon. Now, of course, you can click all. Then I will probably uh, drop down quite a bit if you include all. But uh, I don't think it's uh, loading just yet. I don't think it is. Oh no, it is. So I'm still fourth, which is cool. I'm still fourth, and that is so across all servers. I am fourth with the most amount of mastery badges in the Kranwagen. So th there's many different things you can you can still look at and just take your time. Like look around the sites uh, and just this is just one site. So we're now going to head over to the second site that I think you should be using. So the second site is Blitzstars, and if I'm honest, this is probably one of the most popular uh, sites for Blitz. Now, this has just about everything, and everybody should be using this site. If you want to get better or other things, if you want to check stats uh, on tanks out, uh, you should be using this site because it has just about everything that you need. So if we just put our name in here, 
Uh, it also tells you, look how many meaties there are, Jesus Christ. Uh, so we're just going to click myself uh, and uh, we're just going to see, where are we? Meaties 69 BPS. Um, so if you want to get better as a player, uh, looking at a site like this at your stats, I mean, for me, I don't look at this for my stats. I don't care about stats. Uh, so I don't look at this and think, oh my God, I need to improve here. Uh, but people obviously play the game and they want to improve. Of course, I have a lot of different games. Some people out there are just playing tier 10. Uh, but I play all different tiers. It doesn't bother me. I don't look at this. I, I make videos. I don't really don't care. I just want to have fun playing the game. So, But if you're one that to, to look at the stats and if you want to look at how you are performing then Blitz Stars is really, really good because not only does it have your career uh, record, it also has the 30 days, 60 days, and 90 days. So you can compare your career to how you're doing. So your career uh win rate could be like 40%, but yet your 30-day win rate could be sort of 60%, which means you've improved massively since you started the game. Now, look, if you look at me, I'm, I'm actually dropping. Um, my career is 64.96. My last 30 days is only 63. Uh, so yeah, I mean, overall, I'm dropping. <laughs> but, uh, but if you look at the 90 days, I mean, it's still not too bad. 65% is not too bad. Uh, but also, you can look at individual tanks as well. So if you go down all the way down to the bottom here, uh, of course, dark purple is, is is the best. Dark purple is where you want to be as a player. Uh, so if all your tanks are dark purple, it means you're doing something right. Uh, if, you're, if your tanks are uh, light purple, then again, you're still doing something right. If, you're, if your tanks are black like this, then either you test tanks, like you can see here, most of these are test tanks because they don't have WN8, um, but uh, yeah, you don't want you don't want black tanks there. Uh, you don't want a black box. Uh, so you can see, I mean, if you just go to the, the worst for me, uh, it also, it will show you what kind of, where you need to improve. Obviously, if it's green or blue or yellow, it means you need to improve in that area. Of course, it also has a ranking. Each tank has a ranking, so you can see how well you're doing. If you think you're doing well in a tank, of course, it has to be over a 100 battles. If you think you're doing uh, well, uh, go and have a look at the ranking and if you are doing well then you never know you might be uh, number one so you can see here the ranking here so think like the ram 2 uh, i haven't played it for ages but i'm ranked number two i'm pretty good i was pretty good in the ram 2 uh the 30 the pa the pa the panzer uh, 38 38 h again i'm number six the grop tractor gross tractor i'm doing pretty well in so most of these are actually lower tier tanks uh so yeah i'm doing pretty well in some of these uh so yeah this is a perfect way for you to improve on each in either in each individual tank that you're not performing well in or uh, just your overall performance. So not only does this site have that, it also has pretty much other things that I always use and you'll see it in my videos. So tank compare is absolutely amazing. It really is. So if you've got two tanks, so if you've got two tanks that are very, very similar and you want to know what the difference is between each tank, then this is absolutely perfect. So we could choose the M48 pattern there. We could go down and think actually, what is the difference between the M48 pattern and the M60? And it shows you everything. So you can see here, everything like the DPM, penetration alpha rate of fire reload caliber shell velocity is all exactly the same but when you look at this and you're thinking hang on a minute the m60 actually has better aim time 1.6 compared to 1.81 so you look at that and you're thinking hang so this is actually a better tank the m60 has one degree of gun depression more than the m48 pattern so you look at that and also with the armor profile as well. So where people think that the M60 is exactly the same as the M48 pattern, they're wrong because actually the M60 is a better pattern. So that is again, something to look at, excuse me for the ads, uh, but that's again, just another thing that I look at on this, uh, on this site, you've also got Hall of Fame. Now, again, I am constantly using Hall of Fame. I am always using it because not only that, 
you can see high damage replays but they have to send a replay in so if you are doing replay videos a lot of people get these replays from this site uh, so of course it's got the date it's submitted and you can just go to damage there and see what the highest amount of damage is and in fact that is the t100 uh, at 10.8k damage i think uh, so we've also we have seen that uh, we've actually showed that replay. I think we showed that T twenty two replay from Maslod Vlad, uh, Vlad, one of my one of my all time friends there. Uh, so yeah, you can see if you think you've done a high damage game in a certain tank, head over to here, have a look and see if it does enter. Of course, if you want to enter Hall of Fame, you need to have five and a half K battles to uh, to enter that. If you've got less, you won't be able to upload your Hall of Fame. But you can see here all, all of these high damage games. Now, I always look at this and I always look at the date submitted and it always has to be this update. So if there's, say, January there, Mad Lord Vlad, I can't obviously download that replay because it is a different update to what we are now uh, but anything like uh, from March then it will be uh, sorry for anything from like May which you can see the object to uh, version 268 there uh, they're all May so I can click view download the replay and then that is how I show you these replays which you can see items there that is how I got this replays and that is how a lot of youtubers get their replays so if you're not using blitz stars you need to use blitz starts because it is absolutely amazing let's head over to the next website i use the other website that i use always all the time is blitz hanger and again if you're not using this website you should be using this website because just like blitz stars it's great for many many things so first up here it always has all the changes so you can see 8.10 changes and 9.0 changes which 9.0 is not here yet so if you want to see what is actually upcoming in the next update you can go over to here on blitz hanger and it will tell you everything so you can see all the new japanese heavy lines that come in it will show you the armor profile as well which is usually what i use this tank uh, this website for mainly for the armor profile uh, so yeah it will literally say everything that is changing all the buffs all the nerfs you can see the t54e1 there it's getting buffed you can it will show you everything the m103 getting nerfed uh, the type 61 being nerfed uh, so yeah it will show you just about everything but the main thing the main thing that i use this uh, this website for is the armor is that armor of, uh, of the tank that you want to look at so if there's a new tank coming into the game and you want to know how it plays just head over to it click the tier that you want to uh, that you want to look at go to every tank uh, and i want to look at the, uh, the say the concept 1b so you just head over to here and then you head over to the armor profile but before you do that of course if you click each tank it shows you all the 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 stats of each tank and it will also give you some advice at the bottom as well. If you go down to the bottom somewhere, tactics, it will show you advice on how to play this tank. So you can see peekaboo, not recommended. Uh, long range sniping, it's kind of average. Frontline, average. Circle of death, not recommended. Hit and run, not recommended. Brawl, not recommended. So these, these, does on, these do honestly help you. These really do help you if you wanna know how to play the tank. But if you wanna go to the armor profile, then it will show you exactly the, what the armor profile is. Because if you look in the, in the game, in the stats, it will say the armor profile is say 260 millimeters on the turret. But that's not entirely correct because you also it's effective armor as well. So if you look at this here, we're just gonna click on the upper plate. So just click on the where you wanna see where the armor is and you can see the left side it says 150 mm, 155 millimeters but effective because of all the angles etc effective actually it's 272 uh, so that's what you want to look at yes it is 155 but that is at certain angles if you look sort of right down on it yes it's going to be 155 as you can see there but no tank is going to look down on you like that so you really want to look at the effective armor of these tanks so don't always look on 
in the game where it shows the armor profile because the effective armor on that tank might be a lot more than it actually is just like this one i mean 155 millimeters but effective it is 224 that's a big difference and the same here look if you look at the the roof or the just above the gun it's actually 130 millimeters, but effective, it's over nearly 700. That's a massive difference. No one is penning that unless they are looking straight down at you where now you have the 130 millimeters, but no one is going to look down at you like that. They're going to look at you like that. So this is where this website you want to be using to look at all these armor profiles. Now, the next website I don't really look at because I look at this, and that is Armor Inspector. Now, Armor Inspector, if you go onto Drudel's video, he uses it all the time. And again, it is a very good way because it shows, yes, it shows the armor profile, but it's still different to this blitz hanger with armor inspector you can actually choose a tank that uh, is looking so uh, we've got the crown wagen here uh, and we're uh, not sorry we, we've got the concept 1b here and we're looking at it but we're not looking at it from a certain tank with armor inspector you can pick a tank to look at that at that tank to see if you can pen it or where you can pen it so of course uh, you have to subscribe to that you have to pay a subscription if you want to get the premium version or whatever it is I don't know how much it is I never got it but if you can afford it it definitely is worth uh, purchasing yeah that's if you want to become a better player but yeah these all these four websites are absolutely amazing for one way or another for their own sort of reasons they're not all the same they're completely all different so if you don't use these websites you should be using these websites so i hope you enjoyed the video guys something different for you today i'm midzy 69 i hope it helps uh, i'm sure most of you will know these websites but i'm sure there's some players out there that don't have a clue so i hope this helps i'm midzy and i'll catch you all soon bye bye